pretty quiet out there. Just a little bit of cloud coverage working its way into the area. If these clouds really thicken up and prevent that sunshine, then we'll likely not see severe weather or even thunderstorms. But if they stay thin enough and allow that sunshine to really still shine through the clouds like we're seeing right now, we do still have that chance for severe weather. In fact, we are still under that slight risk or level two of five for strong to severe storms possible this evening. Now, if you were watching earlier this morning, we were saying that the main concern was large to very large hail and damaging winds possible. But given the new conditions and what the atmosphere is doing through these these early afternoon hours, it is suggested that a tornado or two can actually not be fully ruled out. So we are looking at all modes of severe weather possible with this passage of a cold front. So let's talk about that. We've got a little bit of rain in portions of northern Iowa through the early afternoon hours. Then with that sunshine out there, that's what we're going to be really watching with that that heating. Now it looks like right now that we're looking at some thunderstorms popping up around four o'clock this afternoon to our west. Very isolated. As I mentioned, not everyone is going to see rain or thunderstorms. These are projected to move eastward. The good news is they'll clear out rather early, no later than about eight o'clock this evening. But the bad news is as they move through is when we could see that chance for severe weather. More good news is we'll see them clear out and we'll see sunshine through the day tomorrow. Just to show you how isolated this is, we are looking at a tenth of an inch to a half an inch of rain in portions of the area that are looking at those thunderstorms. So again, not a lot of the area is going to see rain. 86 for the high today with that severe storm possible this evening. Gradual clearing tonight with a low of 60 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We're seeing temperatures rise through the weekend with a chance of storms on Saturday. And then we'll see a heat return with upper 80s and low.